Several new features in AutoCAD 2014 get their power from the cloud. To use many of these new features, you're going to have to be logged into your Autodesk 360 account. Autodesk 360 is a cloud-based service that Autodesk provides for free at no extra charge. You get online storage space, you can get automatic saving of your files to the cloud, you can share your files with other people, you can access them on your mobile device, and some of the other things that we're about to show you. One is that you can automatically sync your settings. You can save them, and that's really nice because it uploads them to the cloud, and then when you log on to a different machine anywhere else, it will download those settings and you'll be able to work in the same sort of environment that you already have set up. Another nice feature about it is that if you have your machine and it fails, and you reinstall AutoCAD after replacing the hardware, and you want to get your settings back the way you had them before, that's fine, not a problem. Just sign into your Autodesk 360 account and sync your settings. So I'm going to sign into my account. To do that, you come up here to the Info Center bar, and you click on the Sign In button, and you can sign into Autodesk 360. And if you want to learn more about Autodesk 360, just click here on the bottom. I'm going to sign in. And when your sign in is complete, you can update any of your profile preferences. If you want to turn on sync your settings with the cloud, just click right here. And you can look at a lot of different online options or go right to your Autodesk 360 account. You can even get your account details right here. Now, a lot of the Autodesk 360 features are managed right here in the Autodesk 360 ribbon tab. Click on it, it will get you to this tab here. You can click on these buttons here to manage your documents that you have online. This will launch the Autodesk 360 website, your options, your sync settings, your choose which settings that you want to sync. So if you click here, you can select any of these things, your options, your customized files, printers, line types, tool palettes, etc. Now, if you're working in an AutoCAD file, you can upload it to your Autodesk 360 account. And by doing that, it's saved in the cloud. Now, Autodesk 360 is also running in the background once you've signed in. If you go to save a file or open a file, you'll notice on that dialog box that there's an Autodesk 360 button here on the left window pane. That is a folder that's created on the hard drive of your workstation. That's where all of your files are saved to on your local machine and are copied into the cloud. So you aren't relying completely on the cloud. So if you lose your internet connection, you can still access everything here. Now, if the files are different between the two for some reason, then you only have access to what's on your hard drive here. But that's okay. This is a nice little way to back up your files and to help manage them, especially when you want to share your documents or collaborate with other people with DesignFeed, which we're going to look at here in another section.